Today, I want to show you how you can create this incredible mock-up for your courses because mock-ups like these of your digital courses and your digital products can help increase the value and perceived value of your program. It means that when someone is handing over their hard-earned money for something that's just like a couple of PDFs and a few videos, it makes it feel more tangible because it is displayed in a mock-up just like this. And surprisingly, it's not too tricky to design in Canva. So let's dive in. So hi, my name is Jackie. And if you're new here, it is a pleasure to have you here. I am a graphic designer who loves teaching everyday business owners how they can create their own incredible brand and graphics using programs just like Canva because design has the power to grow your business in incredible ways. And that's exactly what I want to show you today. This is actually part of a series I'm doing on creating branding and design for your courses. So feel free to check out that playlist. But this is a really tangible tutorial that I'm doing on creating a mock-up for your course or program to make sure that you can increase the perceived value of your offer and help people feel like they're getting something really tangible from what you are selling them. So firstly, I want you to jump into canva.com. This is a great program for creating graphics for your business, for your course, for your marketing. Uh, and I want you to open up, doesn't really matter to be honest with you, but I'm gonna open up a presentation slide today. Literally any size will be okay. Not literally, I don't want you doing one that's really, really tiny. I don't want you doing a business card size or a presentation slide size will be just a wonderful. So step number one is to gather the graphics that you need to actually create your mock-up. So when you think about when someone enters your program or course, what are they having access to? Do they have access to a Facebook group? Do they have access to a course portal? Do they have access to videos from you? Do they have access to worksheets? Grab graphics of all these things and bring them into your Canva. So I'm just gonna navigate to a few things of mine right now to show you. So I'm gonna go into my online course. This is actually getting a makeover soon, but for now, this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna grab my screenshotting tool here and screenshot. This will look different for every computer. So perhaps Google, if you don't know how to take a screenshot on your computer, Google your computer sort, um, plus taking the screenshot and it will give you the instructions to taking a screenshot. Either way, grab a screenshot of your page, of your course, maybe of programs, maybe of your Facebook group. I've taken a, a screenshot on my phone of my Facebook group I'm gonna use in a moment. I'm also gonna navigate to one of my worksheets. This is inside Canva, so I can actually take a screenshot here as well, or I could go to share and download and even just select uh, JPEG PNG and choose a few pages from my worksheet that might be useful. So I might choose the front cover page and just a few pages from inside that look like they've got a lot of value in them. So it gets people excited to do my course. Press done and then download. And also if you've got any video format, maybe a screenshot of you presenting a video. So I'm actually gonna go back to my course here and maybe even play this one really large and grab a screenshot here. I would normally wait for it to be nice and uh, non pics later, but I'm just gonna go for this for now before our mock up. All right, so I've got a few different graphics here. I'm now going to go into my new graphic here. I'm gonna to go to my uploads and upload those files that I've screenshotted. Now, throughout this tutorial, I'm gonna share with you some tips to making a really great mock up. Firstly, is having similar kind of device styles. So when you are mocking up your devices, don't just choose one that looks like it's been sketched and another one looks photorealistic. Choose all of the same style of graphics so it looks really consistent. So for me, I'm going to insert, say, this brand planner graphic and I might add this looking as, a, as an actual piece of paper, or I might choose to make it in an iPad. I can do either or inside Canva. And there are a few different ways of grabbing these. So if I go over to elements over here, I can search tablet in the search bar and it will show me some frames that already look like an iPad that I can insert in. So I'm gonna click on this one and you can see that it's got this little frame area, which means I can drag my image straight into this frame and it looks really, really great. Another option for doing pages is to insert your image and instead of going to frames, you can go to edit and scroll down to the app section where you see mockups. Now I have a whole tutorial on how you can create your own custom mockup. I'm not gonna go into that today because it's a whole thing, but you're welcome to watch that and I'll link it here for you. Um, but if I go down into here, you can see there's all sorts of mockups. Like I could have packaging mockups, I can have a tote bag mockup, I can have someone looking on their iPad, but I like to have something that feels really consistent to the style I already have. So I could actually even choose to do, if I go to print, I could even choose to actually import it into a book or into like just like this little page. So I'm gonna actually choose this one here. If I click on that, it's gonna insert the image that I have selected into this little page mockup. So you can see here, it's added a little page curl, adds, added some gradient to it to make it look really realistic. All right, so I've got those sorted now. I'm now going to insert my video of me speaking. So I might put this into a laptop screen. So again, I could go to elements here and I can type in laptop and it will bring up some frames for a laptop or I can go to edit and go to the mockup section again and go to computers, see all 
and choose a laptop. Now, again, a lot of these have pictures in the background, but if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see options for where I can just actually insert onto a laptop that's on a clear background. I really love doing this kind of style for mockups. You can have angle devices like this one here and this one here, or you can have them front on. I personally prefer the angled ones because it makes it feel really unique and interesting, but the front on ones are totally fine as well. So I'm actually going to insert this computer here and it's going to take my image and insert it into that design. Beautiful. This is coming together really, really nicely. So I've also got that screenshot that I took of my Facebook group. So I'm going to click on that now and insert it in. And again, I'm going to click on edit mockups and choose a phone mockup again for me this time. This one here that kind of looks a little bit like it's floating. Now you notice I've chosen all devices that look real and I've chosen all devices that have more of a black base to them. So it looks all quite consistent in, in its styling. My next tip for you is to make sure that you arrange your objects in a way that looks a little bit realistic. Right now, this phone is so, so much bigger than my laptop screen. So I need to rearrange the sizing of these. So I'm going to just bring things around and change them. So I'm going to make my laptop a little bit larger by grabbing that circular handle down here. Make that quite high put this in front. This is, my phone's probably a little bit big at this point, but I don't need it to be so small that you can't see it. So I may leave it around that size, maybe a smidgen smaller. I'm gonna grab my page here, my iPad and bring that. Again, it needs to be a little bit smaller, but not so small that it's as small as my phone because that's a tablet is usually larger than a phone. So I'm gonna bring it to around here. I'm gonna pay, play with my layers here. So I'm gonna click on position while I've got an object selected position, toggle over to layers and then drag this layer to being on top so that I can create that between top. I'm gonna then also do the same thing by bringing my page to being on top of my computer, but not on top of my iPad and bring this and position it to being just below my iPad. Maybe something like this to have it look like it's kind of coming out of my iPad. Now, from this point, you could add in a ton of different layers. You could add in more pages, more mockups, more images. But if you actually want a whole collection of items, I'm gonna show you a bit of a, a mockup here. If you want all of these given to you in just one click so you can drop and drag in your own images. I have a pack available for sale that you can grab right now at the link in the description and you'll just get this whole Canva design so you can drag and drop images into here. Now a note on dragging and dropping images in. Say for example, I wanted to replace the page on here. I'm gonna go back to my uploads. I can actually click and drag this into my design and it will pop it in here. If I wanna pop a new image into this top picture here, I can also do that. You'll see that it does this little loading option and it'll load, 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 and then it'll give me options. If I click on this object and press edit, I can then ch choose, do I wanna move this up or do I wanna move this down? Do I want it to fit? Do I want it to crop? Do I wanna flip it? all these things and press apply changes and that will then apply those changes. But I want to also note too, that if you're potentially dragging an image from your uploads panel, for example, you're dragging it across your design. If I accidentally drop it onto my computer screen instead of my, my, my phone here, for example, it's going to replace it again. So if this happens and you accidentally place a graphic in the wrong spot, just press command Z or control Z or use the undo feature at the top left-hand corner and you can un do it. And one other special pro hack I want to share with you is to add mm -hmm. shadows. So some of the mockups will sometimes come with shadows, but if they don't, I want you to navigate over to elements over here and type in shadow. Make sure you've got not in frame selected, but select all so you can see all the different graphics. I'm going to toggle over to this graphics and press see all. And this one here is my favorite. I'm going to show you it's mm, probably this one here. If you don't have Canva Pro, just keep on scrolling until you find one that doesn't have a little crown next to it. A lot of these will be okay, but just something that kind of is pretty much just a squished, like a squished oval that's really blurry. And then if I actually make this a lot smaller, I can sit it underneath my designs. Now you see here, if I accidentally drag this on top of something, it's gonna replace that shadow into my mock-up, which is not what I want. So I'm gonna press Control Z, insert that again and just make sure not to drag it over the top. And if I do, to hold down command on my keyboard or control if you're on PC and it will not insert it in, even if you let go. So I'm just letting go on top of this, but I'm still holding down command. And so it's not actually inserting it into the frame, which is so, so useful because it can get really finicky. I drag this underneath my iPad and go to position it and lo locate and add this to being behind all of my mockups. You can also do this with the shortcut on your keyboard of pressing command and your square brackets um, if you don't want it or control in your spray brackets if you're on PC. Um, but there's so many ways to do this. It's up, totally up to you. So when I've got that underneath my, my, my devices, I'm gonna go to have it selected and press transparency and make sure that this is nice and transparent. If it's really harsh, then it just looks a little bit unnatural. So I'm just gonna make it kind of, you, you want it to look like it's there, but it's you don't really notice it's there unless you actually look really hard. When I've got that there, I'm gonna then duplicate it by clicking on the object and pressing duplicate bring it over here and again, adding it to being behind my paper. I might even add one underneath my computer here and again, underneath my phone here. And that just 
makes it feel like it's actually sitting on something. And you could totally end it here or you could actually make it sit on something. If you go to your elements here, you could search like desk and you could find graphics that you might want to use to put your mock-ups onto. Even something like this one here, you could add that into the background. And you can see that my devices now look like they're sitting on a cute little desk just like that. And then when you're finished, you can then download this. So you can download this whole page or you can download just these objects. If I actually click and drag on these objects, I can then right click and press download selection. This, will, this, this little download selection button will only pop up if you are downloading more than one object. So make sure you've got more than one object selected, then press download selection. And I recommend downloading this as a PNG or you could add branded graphics into the background here, but I like downloading it as a PNG and then using it all over, my, all over the place. I might use it on my sales page I might use it on a promotional graphic for my Instagram. Just having this saved and then maybe even adding it to your brand kit or your uploads so you can easily add it to graphics into the future. But save this as a PNG. If you've got Canva Pro, save it as a transparent PNG um, and that will be a really great option for you to then use on all your promotional graphics to add perceived value to your digital offering. I want to share with you another one I made for a client here. This is a really beautiful design. We did a, we added some little headphone graphics. We added in the phone, but we put it on the side. Page graphics here. Again, a mock-up of my client. And this was the one she did to begin with you can see it feels a little bit all over the place but once we kind of pull everything together make it look make it look like things are actually sitting on objects by giving shadows by arranging them in a way that feels really solid and grounded then it makes a huge difference to your brand so enjoy that tutorial and make sure you come and check out my whole playlist on creating really robust branding and graphics for your course to help it to sell better thanks for watching make sure you hit subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you next week for another video bye